Happy Friday, everyone. Air quality warning still in effect through tonight at 9 p.m. That's for North and Central uh, St. Louis County, Kuchichang, and Itasca counties and areas to the west. But that will be dropped at around 9 p.m., but I wouldn't be surprised if the National Weather Service continues that into the weekend. So not a lot of air quality concerns this weekend, but we do have some severe weather concerns. So level one and level two risk of severe weather across the Northland. So if you're in the Twin Ports or north, that severe risk isn't there. Just general thunderstorms. Areas south of the Twin Ports, though, in that green and yellow shade, we will have a shot for severe storms. And that's associated with this low pressure system that is off to the west. So for Saturday, for this weekend, the morning, tomorrow morning, starting off with high pressure and an easterly wind. So near the lake here in Duluth, temperatures will be in the upper 60s and low 70s, so kind of chilly for this time of the year. We're also going to be seeing a little bit of sunshine. So Saturday, not a complete washout. We won't see that storm chance until Saturday afternoon and evening. So this is 5 p.m. We're seeing a few thunderstorms popping up. The majority of that action, though, south of the Northland Saturday night. But Saturday night into Sunday morning, we'll see those storms roll through, and they could be strong to severe at times. They also could drop a good amount of rainfall, and we desperately need that rain where we're five inches below average for the year, 15 inches below average for the past year and a half. Those storms move out by Monday morning, high pressure moves back in. But you can tell it's a really small area of high pressure, another low pressure system off to the west for middle of next week. So a much more active weather pattern we're dealing with, and it's really great news considering how dry it's been so far this summer. So let's time those storms out hour by hour. 8 a.m. tomorrow morning, dry and sunny so the whole day on saturday is not a washout we will have some dry hours in the morning in the afternoon there's some chances for storms and basically across the region we're going to be uh, seeing a chance for some thunderstorms saturday afternoon so if you do have plans plan them for the morning hours saturday night into sunday that's when the storms will be the strongest notice some yellows and oranges up to the north some pretty dark yellows down there to the south those are where the storms could be severe we could see inch hail 60 mile per hour winds and again mainly to the south of the twin ports is where those severe storms will be continues into saturday mor sunday morning excuse me 6 a.m a line of storms across the twin ports and then we do clear out for sunday afternoon and evening so again some more dry hours sunday evening so if you have plans saturday morning sunday evening will be the time to do those and rainfall we could see a good amount of rainfall from some of these storms some of these cells could drop Quite a bit of rain. This model is saying as much as three inches up towards Ely. Again, take this with a grain of salt. This isn't exactly what's going to fall, but it just shows there's a lot of moisture associated with the system, and that's definitely what we need for how dry it's been. So Saturday night, Sunday morning, we're going to see that rain, and then we have a dry day Monday and more chances for downpours on Tuesday and Wednesday. So this active pattern is exactly what we needed, and we'll take it. 